Friends, in today's video we are going to see PLC related questions and answers. Let's take today's first question. What is the full form of SMPS? Why is it used in PLC or DCS? SMPS full form is S means switched. M means mode. P means power. S stands for supply. SMPS is used to convert unregulated AC supply to regulated DC supply. It is given 220 volts AC supply and SMPS converts it into 24 volts DC supply. Means its input is 230 volts AC and its output is 24 volts DC. Here you can also be asked this question that can smps convert ac to dc so the answer is yes smps can convert after this you can be asked this question that you have converted ac to dc from smps but what is the use of that dc or you can ask it like this why dc supply is required in plc dcs panel its answer is DC supply is given to modules and DC supply is given to transmitters from DC supply only transmitters such as pressure transmitters level transmitters DP type transmitters temperature transmitters all are on from here one more thing becomes clear that Transmitters are given 24 volts DC supply. Next question can be asked from you. In PLC DCS panel, what is the function of modules? What are types of modules? Modules provide interfacing between field signals and PLC. Means, field signals are not connected directly to PLC but are connected through modules so the signal flow will be something like this plc io modules field signals io modules means input output modules for input signals input modules and for output signals output modules combined these are called io modules modules are also called cards if we understand their types, modules are according to signals. For analog signals, analog modules. For digital signals, digital modules. These are further categorized according to the input and output signals, analog input module. For analog input signals, and analog output module. For analog output signals. Similarly, there will be two types of digital modules for digital input signals digital input modules and for digital output signals digital output modules if you want to understand about all these signals then watch these videos you will understand all the signals of plc